First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kwadash, and the Bible Sales Green Millstone, Wild Hunches Truth, and also to the Ophelet that scattered abroad. I like to say Shalom and come back here today with another great powerful lesson through spearing the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson is fearful events. So I like to say Shalom to all our listeners and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So before we start the day Lesson, I have a few news articles, but we'll start here first with APR Associated Press. And it reads, it says, shelter in place order for more than 90,000 Georgia residents so is uh, lifted after chemical fire. Let's get a little bit more. It says here, it said, authorities on Monday night ended a shelter in place order for more than 90,000 people east of Atlanta following a weekend chemical fire that sent a massive plume of dark smoke into Georgia skies and led uh, to complaints about a strong chemical smell and haze. Said the smell had spread to Atlanta by Monday, prompting firefighters to use detectors to check the air quality in various parts of of uh, the city, Mayor uh, Andre Dickens said. So that's all we're gonna get on that. So we constantly seeing what disaster after disaster, calamity after calamity. Could this be a possible uh, black swan of event in the making? Because we know that we're very close to the election. Also, we knowing about that this pack, uh, this secret pack, or uh, this uh, this summit uh, uh, for the future. You know about this. Uh, this coming uh, NWO, we'll put it like that. So we know these things are coming to pass. Also, that grain of rice. So we're gonna constantly see these uh, things constantly what increase, even though that we're constantly being repetitive. But the Lord said, "Warn them for me." And one thing about that's what we're constantly doing each and every day. And also uh, in the news, you know, this this happened in Georgia. You know, they uh, made I think it was yesterday that you know, they had a uh, this chemical fire. You know. Uh, in Georgia, you know, it's so all these different what order out of chaos, different events. I think, you know, it started back, I think, in uh, early 2023, I think, with those Ohio uh, train uh, derailments. One thing behind another, mischief after mischief, you know, constantly bringing all sorts of chaos, all sorts of confusion. That's exactly what this devil wants. But one thing about it, we knowing that it will, you know, he, he's imagining the vain thing. So now, and also in the news, it says here, uh, said FEMA and the, the NFL teams up to make stadiums available for a disaster uh, situations or, uh, or center, you know, a disaster centers, you know, in case of some big crisis or whatever, like the uh, emergency, you know, also it will be have uh, uh, what's called a, a makeshift hospital. Also, you can go there and get water, food and things like that. But we are uh, not ignorant of Satan device we already know what this is all about so we know what happened back in 05 uh when a lot of uh, they a lot of the people was uh at the superdome it was a lot of uh raping was going on a lot of killing all sorts of mayhem and confusion so we already know that uh uh hurricane katrina was a test run so we know that uh, uh hurricane uh Haleen has uh, has came through and also we know about uh i think that douglas dam uh, they said that it had broken, whatever it's flooded out a lot of parts of, uh, I think it's uh, northern, uh, northeast of uh, northeast uh, uh, North Carolina. Also, it said uh, it's flooding in Tennessee and also in uh, Appalachia. So, you know, a lot of these things are constantly picking up all sorts of disaster, all sorts of mischief, one behind another. Also, in the news, uh, another uh, Verizon. Uh, cell phone outage so they constantly bring it left and right one thing behind another distraction all sorts of things that constantly have in the mental law we're working overtime constantly warning your opinion days also what's constantly the major thing that's in the news that could be very major is these uh this port strikes so we're gonna see 
how this uh fan out we but we know that it's it's going to go down you know we already know that america is constantly circling the drain a lot of things are constantly happening man and also that verizon uh cell phone out it was very massive you know it was you know nationwide you know so a lot of people phone was on sos so i have a, a news clip on that also so a lot of things are constantly happening you know you know one disaster after another you know things are constantly just escalating we seeing it happening right before our fearful events and a lot of people right now have a, a lot of uh, uh uh desperation a lot of people are seeing that we are at the end we're seeing it left and right and let's read this one again it says shelter in place order for more than ninety thousand georgia residents so it's is lifted after chemical fire so a lot of people was complaining about the smell a lot of people say they were having problems with their breathing respiratory air quality you know the same old scenario that's this is the playbook for disaster this is exactly what they want you know so so october is is getting ready to get it popping and also this could be the possible what dog winter so now let's go to this one right here it's another one i want to get a couple of news articles before we start today's lesson and it says here, it says, it says this one here by Sci Scientific America said, why Appalachia flooded so severely from Haleen uh, remnants? Let's see here. Let's get, let's just going to look at it. It says here, why the Appalachia flooded so severely from uh, uh, Haleen's uh, remnant? It said, it's an inland flood, flooding from the tropical uh, cyclones. It said, even at high altitudes, is a major worry and one that scientists don't know enough about so you you they constantly you know saying that this is by you know um it's saying that you know a lot of people saying this uh, might have uh been caused by the hot weather manipulated but we know it, it happened by who yahweh by shim you know what i'm saying the lord is constantly what visiting the earth that he created let's read a little bit of this it says hurricane Haleen hit Florida's western coast as a, a category a Cat 4 hurricane on September the 26th and was uh, uh, accompanied, uh, accompanied by serious storm surges, but the damage didn't end there. It says still a, ca a category 2 hurricane when it swept into Georgia. Haleen dumped staggering amounts of rain over eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina said far inland at a uh, much higher uh, uh, evaluations, uh, excavations, Salakia said in the Appalachian Mountains. They said then people uh, said, said Appalachian Mountains said Appal 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 uh, Appalachian Mountains, Salakia. Tom Twister said, then peoples often considered to be at risk from hurricanes said, said all told Haleen is none, none to have, has, has known, so like, has known to have killed more than 100 people. Uh, let's see what else. Pre predominantly in North and South Carolina and Georgia. So that's, that's, that's all we're going to get of that. Let's, let's, let's go on to finish it out. He said that count and that count will likely rise because the communities most affected are are difficult to reach. Simply understanding the storm total damage is likely to take months. So that's all we're gonna get on that. So we know that it, this uh, Hurricane Haleen left a lot of uh, devastation. You know, path of what a destruction. And you know, one thing about it that we know that these things are gonna constantly pick up one behind another you know these things are on a fast pace you know all sorts of things are constantly happening you know it's time to seek the lord because one thing about it, these things are it's not are going to slow down these plagues are not going to slow down they're going to come up on every side we're constantly seeing it left and right also we know we coming into a new uh system a new society you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, it will be what? Total control. So now let's go to this one. Sorry about the moving around, but just want to bring out a few of the uh few of these news clips because there's a lot of things going on. Let's go to this one here. It says here, this one here about news, news break. It says here, FEMA uh NFL partner to 
designate four stadiums as disaster shelters. So we already know what this is all about. You know, we already know when this all this hell break loose and they call martial law, you can come here, you know what I'm saying? And also we know that these stadiums can hold hold what? Lords amounts of what? Of people. You already know what uh what uh, Bill Gates said about depopulation. So you understand, you get the picture. So we seeing how this is lining up. You know, a lot of people are gonna go into these uh stadiums and not coming out. Also they we know that they has have these uh Walmarts, you know, these super Walmarts, you know, on deck too. You know, a lot of them have closed down. And they also can uh uh, uh hold a lot, a large uh what amount of people uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. And also it will be millions upon millions will be what put to death. Also the death toll is, is going to rise like you have never seen before. So lucky. So we see it right here that FEMA and the NFL are in a partnership. You know what I'm saying? The, the, it said designated four stadium, but I believe it's five for disaster shelters or uh, uh, for, you know, any type of situation or some type of event, something that happens, some type of crisis, uh, pandemic, you know, uh, you, hey, we're not even going to say device. So let's read a little of this here. It says, uh, let's start here. Uh, it said, great news that the, the NFL and FEMA have teamed up to designate four stadium as shelters that can be used during a uh, response and recovery mission after emergencies and disaster. So what are they planning for? You know, could this be a, a black swan event? Could this be some type of uh, civil unrest? Could this be some type of invasion? And, and one thing about it, we know we seeing it happening right before our eyes. So we already know it, 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 it it could be a possibility. It may not be uh what uh election. We're constantly warning you left and right. These things are happening right before our eyes, man. And man, you know, we ain't gonna go into it too far, but they have a lot of these stadiums. I think they are they said the Midlife Stadium in East Rutherford, uh, New Jersey. They said uh Lumen Field in C uh Seattle, so the uh Astro uh Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa are the first four stadiums to receive FEMA mission ready venue desert uh, designation. So, hey, man, he, man, he constantly, what are they planning for? What are they getting prepared for? We are constantly warning you left and right while you're sleeping. The devil is constantly getting bit. I think the fifth one is in California. I, I don't know which stadium, but I know it's in California. And also there was rumors that these uh, stadiums are on these fault lines. I think the the the, 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 Nered, the, the Nedred fault line, I think that run through St. Louis and the other one run through L.A. with its in fact is the uh, San Andreas. So, hey, man. We are very close, and all we already know we've constantly been having what uh, 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 earthquakes in diverse places. So, man, these things are lining up left and right. So, what in the hell FEMA got to do with the NFL? And one thing about it, we already know that this 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 devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. It's one more I want to get. Let's see, let's see, can I go back out? It's another one before we uh, get a quick precept. Let's see here. Oh uh, man, I might might not be able to get it. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go this way. It's another one that I want to get. Let's see. Can I pull it up? I can't think of, but I, I think I got it in the search. Let's see. I think it's in the search. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this port strike. Let's get this one right quick about this port, port strike. We already know that we're keeping our eyes on that because we already know that if, if these ports do shut down this is a possibility they will shut down if they stay shut down for a long period of time we already know that's going to affect the what the supply chain line which in fact you know your food your water your necessity so you know these things are you know this place could be a third world country overnight and also it's going to call all sorts of what uh 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 uh, uh civil unrest uh, it's going to be uh 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 uh, 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 city against city, brother against brother. A lot of this getting ready to happen. Order out of chaos. So let's get this one right here. It's at Port Looms as labor. Let's see what it says here. Uh, it said Port Strike Looms as labor and management remains at odds. So they still are trying to make it a city. Let's read this first little part. It said the strike deadline at East and Gulf Coast ports in the United States in say. 
it was midnight, September the 30th, and asked, asked, asked the possibility of a job action looms to retailers and their ven vendors have been preparing for supply chain disruption. So that's, that's all we're going to get of that. So that's what they're preparing for. Also, they constantly warn you about stock up on food, stock up, stock up on water, also uh, stock up on fuel, your gas. You know what I'm saying? Also, you already know what Klaus Schwab said, you will own nothing and be happy. So we see we're coming upon this time. Things are getting ready to get very desperate. Things are getting ready to be, get very what? Damn dark, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, we know that Jacob's trouble is at the door, and who will be the most in trouble? The Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Indians. We constantly wonder you left and right. And also, when you get around to it, look up the King Alfred plan. And one thing they're going to tell you the plan. And one thing about it also was rumors. Uh, I think I seen a clip. I can't. I can't remember what I seen. They said that Trump said that he would give the uh, the uh, the law enforcement one hour a one hour purge into uh people of color a neighborhood so hey man we already know that this devil is getting ready to roll so now let's get a quick preach i have some videos also uh sorry about all the moving around let's start here uh let's get this quick precept uh the in the book of uh ezekiel chapter 7 in the blue letter uh, we'll start at verse 25 it says destruction's coming and they shall seek peace and there shall be none well, that's where we at right now. You know, destruction is constantly coming on a daily basis. And one thing about it, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they say peace and safety or peace and security, there will be none because the Lord is constantly bringing forth this judgment like we have never seen before. Verse 26 said, said, mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and the council from the ancient. So that's is exactly get ready to happen. We're constantly seeing one thing behind another. And one thing about it, you know, they say, oh, seek the Lord early through his what his mouthpiece, the prophet, but they shall not find him. Lord, let's read this in um you shall not find it. Let's see, you know, let's see verse twenty six in the NLG. It said calamity will follow calamity. Rumors will follow rumor. They will look in vain. Say they will look in vain for a vision or a prophet, a, 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 a look for what the prophecy, uh, a prophet, he said, for a vision from the prophets. He said, they will uh, receive no teaching from the priests and no counsel from the leaders. So that's what's getting ready to happen. The Lord's getting ready to bring for the famine of the word. It, it's faster approaching. And one thing about it, you know, we already know that this uh, truth have a tang step on it and the Lord is getting ready to bring it on like you have never seen before. So one calamity behind another. So let's read it once again in the NLT. It said, it said calamity will follow calamity. Rumor will follow rumors. They will look in vain for a vision from the prophets. They will receive no teaching from the priests and no counsel from the leaders. And we're coming upon that time. And, and a lot of people right now still are not believing, still are uh, gainsaying. But all these things are getting ready to be a thing of the past. These prophecies are rolling just like clockwork. And we're constantly excited because we know that we are, are very, very close. Our salvation eels at the door so now i start today's uh video and after the video we'll start the lesson and i hope that you will get edified by now many of you have already received notice in rockdale county if you haven't we do have a, a crisis management situation happening at bio lab here in rockdale county uh, all hands are on deck uh, the north portion of rockdale county we're asking all of our residents if you're in the north side of Rockdale County, to stay in place. Now, if you are in the outline, yellow highlighted, evacuated area that's posted on all of our social media, we're asking that you evacuate to a safe place. Tonight, a hazard in the air. Thick gray and orange smoke billows from a chemical facility in Conyers, Georgia, after a fire today forcing nearby residents to evacuate. Officials say around 5 a.m. today, as employees were inside, a sprinkler malfunctioned, causing a chemical to start the blaze, which is now out 
and was contained to the roof. The company saying in a statement, our team is on the scene, working with first responders and local authorities to assess and contain the situation. No one was injured. The Environmental Protection Agency is now conducting air monitoring. Law enforcement pulling out respirators as a precaution. This isn't the first chemical scare at the BioLab facility that manufactures pool and spa products, according to the U.S. Chemical Safety Board. In 2020, a plume of hazardous chemicals was released. Since I've been a part of Rockdale County for seven years, this is probably the third incident of this magnitude. No timetable yet on when the area will be safe. Dana. A lot of people don't like the truth, but here it is. Our corrupt politicians have sold this nation out, sold you out, your future, your children. They've destroyed the economy. They're liquidating your future, dealing your tax dollars and sending it off all around the world. It's a fire sale. Today, Verizon experienced a widespread service outage that left many customers across the U.S. without access to cellular data, voice, or messaging services. The outage began earlier in the morning, with reports spiking after 10 a.m. Eastern Time. This issue has affected a wide range of areas, including major cities in states like Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, and Connecticut. A significant number of iPhone users reported their devices being stuck in SOS mode, a feature that allows emergency calls but prevents access to standard network services when cellular connections are unavailable. This was primarily seen in affected areas as the network struggled to maintain connectivity. Verizon has not yet made an official statement regarding the cause of the outage, but it is clear that tens of thousands of customers are affected nationwide. Many users have taken to social media and outage tracking sites to share their experiences, showing that this is a major event across multiple states. This is an ongoing situation, and Verizon has not provided a timeline for resolution at this time. Keep an eye on updates if you're impacted. My name is Winston Parrish. I'm the senior pastor at Trinity Baptist Church in Asheville. I'm also the chaplain for Buncombe County Sheriff's Department. And today, as uh, you heard from Assistant Director Cole, um, this is a biblical disaster, a biblical proportion. It is a catastrophic event. Uh, but now we're sad to report it was a fatal event. Uh, our emergency crews are not just conducting rescues at this time, but they are also recovering people who have perished in this tragedy. We know that this is just the beginning of what has been and um, continue to be an awful and devastating natural disaster. Um, but we cannot confirm the identities of those individuals at this time. We are still waiting to communicate with next of kin. And uh, we can't confirm this. They are our friends. They are our neighbors. And they are our loved ones. And no doubt for all of us, uh, this is a sad moment for us to uh, just take in a, a deep breath and realize that not only is there infrastructure that has been lost, but now there are lives that have been lost here in Buncombe County. Uh, this is a time for our county to come together, and we have to give our emergency personnel the respect that they need in this time to work. Uh, as you heard, uh, we have to stay off the roads, and that's something that all of our community can respond to. And unless we absolutely have to get out, uh, that we stay home and stay off the roads. Uh, it's a time for us to pray. If you are a praying person, uh, this is the time to pray. Um, you should pray for those that are in the shelter who have either lost a home or who are unable to go to their home. Um, pray for those who have lost friends and family. And then pray for the emergency responders that are working. Many of them have been awake for 24, 48, some of them 72 hours with just a few naps in between uh, these rescues. And so we need to pray for them. And uh, no doubt this is a time for us to come together as a community and uh, we, we must, we must do everything that we can in our power uh, to listen to heed to the warnings. And uh, we're still in, in a very difficult time. Uh, this is not the time for us to try to process everything. We have to process it day by day. And no doubt there will come a time where we will mourn those that are lost. And we'll keep you updated on, on more information with these folks that have lost their lives as, as it uh, becomes available.
So we're seeing these fearful sights. One disaster behind another, one calamity behind another, near shift rumors. All these things are constantly happening because what? We are living in the end time. You don't believe that we're in the end time? If you are in for a rude awakening. I had one more news article, but I'm not going to go into it about Verizon, uh, a cell phone outage, but you can, you can do a quick uh, Google search. It's all there, you know, but let's, let's, let's start today's, uh, a lesson. We'll start here in Isaiah chapter, uh, Isaiah chapter 29. We'll start here because we, this is exactly what the Lord is doing. We bring this scripture out all the time. Because it's exactly what the Lord is doing. He's visiting the earth that he created. Uh, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. And it reads that thou shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storms and tempests and flames of devouring fire. So it's exactly what we constantly see in, you know, that last video. The Lord is visiting the earth that he created. All that flooding, these hurricanes, these tempests, which in fact are tornadoes, cyclones, uh, tsunamis, you know, and so forth and so forth. Earthquakes in diverse places. We constantly see that great noise going into what World War Three, you know. So, you know, that's the last and final war right before the what the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Shout also that flame of divine fire seeing about this uh chemicals uh fire over there in Atlanta. I mean not in, in Georgia today near Atlanta. So these things are constantly picking up this order out of chaos. They are constantly bringing it left and right. The Lord is visiting everything he created. And also is what? UFO sightings are all across the world. The eyes of the Lord, which in fact are the angels. We constantly warning you left and right. The Bible is a true book. So now let's go here to uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, uh, Ecclesiast, uh, uh, Sirach, chapter 40, just random scriptures. Uh... Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach chapter 40. We'll start up at around verse 9. And it reads, really says, it says here, let me move my little emoji out of the way. It says here, uh, verse 9, it said, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and and discourages is exactly what we constantly see in each and every day. We're seeing a lot of death. The love of many is waxing cold. Also, we know that that's what that spirit of vengeance is constantly working over time. A lot of bloodshed, mass shooting, all sorts of things that constantly have strive, you know, envy. A lot of these things that happen, you know, that do thy will spirit. And that sword, that sword goes into, uh, goes into judgment. You know, a lot of these things are because of that calamity we see in it each and every day. One behind another famine, you know, famine, you know, uh, these food short, you know, with this with this port situation, you know, so it could be a great famine, which we already know that it, it is constantly, it's fast approaching. It is out the door, you know, food shortage, you know, what I'm saying uh, rolling blackout, cyber attacks, infrastructure, all these things are coming, you know, the inf infrastructure will be down, you know what I'm saying, power grid, you know, starvation is coming in a big way. A lot of things that happen, a lot of people are getting ready to wake up to a nightmare. If you love it here, you're getting ready to find out what time it is. Tribulation, like you had never seen before. You know, persecution, mourning, death. These things are happening. These scourges are constantly what? Increasing on every side. Verse 10, these, these things are created for the wicked and for their sake came the flood. So that was the first death, you know, the flood. The second death is what? The lake of fire. You know, when the Lord hit America, the horde that sits on many water, you know, with those IBCM missiles, the indignation of Yahweh by Hashim Also, that goes into that, what? The fire and fire, man. Hey, man, the Lord is doing a mighty work. It says here, verse 10, says, these things are created for the wicked and for their sake came the flood. So we already know it. We're living in what? In the days of Noah, but not by water, but by fire this time. From who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that's all we're going to get out of that. Let's go here to, uh, uh, let's go here to First John. First John chapter 2, no, chapter 5. First John chapter 5, I believe. First John chapter 5, and not verse 2. I think it's around 15, if I'm not mistaken. No, let's go back. It's first John chapter two and verse fifteen, Salakia. <clears throat> One moment. This is it right here. 
Salak. It says here, First John chapter two and verse fifteen said, it "said Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him." So one thing about it that if you are getting along and you constantly uh, prospering here, you constantly trying to uh, accomplish something in this fallen system or in this fallen uh, 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 temporal world. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said the love of the Father is not in you, though there is no light in you, and you will be totally strong. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. A stronghold when everything what break loose, when all hell break loose, when mayhem that you have never seen before. These things are coming. It's about to get real. Verse 16, for, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but of the world so you know, you seen in that last video how all that devastation people lost their homes their livelihood their business you know what i'm saying their way of life was changed in an instant and one thing about it, if you love this world you get ready to die in on this side you know what i'm saying which in fact this is the temple world we're seeing it it's constantly what slowly what declining slowly what fading away we get in the next verse it says here, it said, verse 17, it said, and the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the almighty abide it forever. So one thing about it, we already know that this word is faith and true. And one thing about it, we know that the truth is being declared. This, we see that this earth aid is fading away. We see that we're in that transient, the power to struggle in Rebecca's womb. It is about to get real. The Bible is a true book. And one thing about it, the mental law, we're constantly warning you left and right, you know, it's in that day. She, they shall know that a prophet was among them. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to Second Ezra chapter sixteen. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, and we'll start up around verse. Um, let's start up around verse uh, Salakia. Let's start up at verse eighteen. And it reads, said, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? They're all around us, left and right. So it's going to be more, more what? Sorrow, more mornings, more what? Famine, more what? Death. And also the beginning of war, the beginning of what? World War Three. It has begun. The least of the flock shall draw them out. In the middle of the you're constantly signing and crying, left and right. But what? The two thirds are in the what? The house of mirth. They love folly. They love what this PD the incident, all this foolishness, and this uh, uh all this this bread and circus show. This uh the NFL, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about the NFL is what in partnership with FEMA, they're getting ready to show you. And one thing about it, we constantly want fee you things being a uh, fee you thing offer unto idols. You know what I'm saying? What is that idol? The ultimate idol. You know what I'm saying? It shall go into your right hand or your forehead. It's time to wake your ass up. We are here, man. The beginning of sorrow. Verse 19. It said, Behold, famine, plagues, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. Time to mend your way. Get your house in order. Get your mind right. Let go of the modern thoughts because greater evils are coming. Fastly approach. Fastly approach. Jacob's trouble. It's almost at the door. Verse 20 said, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge. So a lot of people are not mindful of the scourge. You know what I'm saying? They, they constantly seeing things as increase. Oh, it's, it will be all right. Everything will be fine. I, I'm good. I have stocked up. I have the, that's not going to save you in time. Your goods are not going to save you. If your, uh, uh, if you are not on the Lord's side, you are going to perish. And one thing about it, if you're not part of that remnant that the Lord is coming back, the one third election, you are going to die. We're constantly warning you. Verse 21 said, Behold, victor shall be good and cheap upon the earth, that they should they shall think themselves to to be good case, and even then shall evil grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. That we constantly see in the left and right, and this is what the land of confusion, land of disorder, chaos, all sorts of what? Uh, blood is being shed each and every day. Woe to the bloody city. And one thing about it, but the Lord is getting ready to put an end to this nightmare. Verse 22 says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. These fools or these parts, 
Yo, hey, man, we come to the one. It's here at the door. Tomorrow will be October the what? The first. So let's see what happens. We are measuring the time uh, diligently. And, and one thing about it, we're hoping and praying that the Lord destroy this place. He said, and the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. So one thing about it, you know, if you escape one thing and you escape another, one thing about it, you're not going to escape that divine fire, which in fact, those IBCM myths, it's going to totally just decimate this place. So let's drop down to verse... Um, Let's drop down to verse uh, 33. And it, and it read, let's start up at verse uh, 32. It said, And the earth shall be laid waste, and the field thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorn, because no man shall travel uh, there through. This place is getting ready to be a third world country. We're constantly wanting great death, great morning. The body count is getting ready to be great, and the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. Verse 33 said, Virgin shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The, the women shall mourn, having no husband. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. So a lot of these uh, men's and women's are going to be uh, shipped off over there in the Middle East. You know, the Lord is removing what the Northern Army. We see it happening right before I had also the rumors of a, uh, a draft is coming. So these things are coming at a fast pace. Hey man, America is finished. We're constantly warning. So it's going to be a lot of um, uh, death of your loved ones, your wife, your husband, your entire family. It's getting ready to happen. And one thing about it, the uh, only way that you uh, uh, is going to uh, survive it and, 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 and be, uh, be uh, to sustain it is what this wisdom, this knowledge, this gospel that only come from who? Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 34 says, In the walls, or shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Amen. We hear. Verse 35. Hear now these things, and understand that ye servants of the Lord. So verse 36. Behold, O the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the God whom the Lord spake. Verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. That's what we're constantly seeing. These fearful events. These fearful sights. It constantly happening left and right. Every day is not going back to saying it's going to get more and more darker and darker to the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is getting ready to put it to an end. Verse 38 said, As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her uh, birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. That's what we're constantly seeing. The birth pain, the struggle in Rebecca's womb. And it's about to get real. We're at the climax. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready to usher in the kingdom of heaven. We're very close. So the evil is sown. But what is sown in good is the kingdom of heaven. Man, we are very close. Verse 39 said, So even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side it's exactly what we see on every side hey man you still think that this is a game you still think that the bible is not a true book you still think the prophecy are constantly are lying to you and the lord is constantly hey the truth is being declared and it's going out through the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come the lord is constantly putting out what these lies into deception this gross darkness and the truth is constantly flourishing all around the world. Man, we're living in some exciting times, but whoa, we're very close. I should read this last verse and we close out. It says here, Second Aaron chapter 16 and verse 40, it says, O oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So we know that that supernatural intervention is getting ready to come into place. The Lord is going to sustain us. The Lord will provide for us. And also the Lord is coming to deliver us from the east to the west. Man, man the Lord is getting ready to show up. Amen. We constantly warn you. We are here it is at the door. These prophecies are right now are just lining up just like clockwork. These prophecies are constantly popping. And one thing about it that we already know that, you know, that the Lord is very near. We know that what the end is very near. And one thing about it, we knowing that we got to go through this last and final uh, 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 conflict, which in fact, you know, is that this, this transition of power. You know, that's why the Lord said, through much tribulation, you shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So we constantly seeing it constantly picking up left and right, you know, destruction, you know, 
path of destruction, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of disaster, calamity, catastrophes, you know what I'm saying? At a, a greater level. Also what? Death, the death, the death toll is rising. And also the Lord is constantly bringing for judgment each and every day. It's time to wake up and seek your true power while he can be found. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is fearful events. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kwadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.